Good morning, Cyber Traders. How's everybody doing on this lovely Tuesday? How's everybody? Good to see you all. All right. Good morning. Good to see you, Ben. Mark, good to see you. Bill, Ken, Lawrence, Grant, everyone. All right. Hopefully, everybody uh, had a, an interesting close yesterday. You know, listen, I'll be honest with you. Yesterday, you know, it, it wasn't the greatest day of trading. I mean, everyone, I, I did a, you know, I did a, uh, presentation uh for timing research and we we're talking some of the some really good masterminds i know some of you guys are listening into the, to the lesson but you know we saw the market take a huge hit yesterday we all know it's because of the tariffs whatever it is but we got a little bit of bump this morning which is normal you always get a little bit of bump people come back and you know they'll uh, they'll buy back whatever it could be a short and stuff like that maybe average down we'll know if this if that will trend but it's going to probably take us about two three days to figure that out if we hold here steady but other than that, I'm telling you, it really wasn't that much out there. You know, there were a couple of things that did move, and that was it. Uh, but before we go through the watch list, just want to kind of remind everybody a couple of things that are going on this week. Please don't forget, today is Traders Talk. We do it once a week. We're going to talk about the Uber trade, you know, of when it went IPO and all that stuff. So don't forget to um, uh, don't forget to uh, be able to be there in Traders Talk. And then we also have the Cyber Expo. Some of the greatest masterminds uh, in trading. Great, a uh, lot of history there. A lot of, you know, I think I'm the youngest puppy in that whole list, but uh, you're talking almost close to maybe 100 years of training that's going to be going on of experience. So don't forget to miss uh, the Cyber Expo with Tom Busby and Norman Hallett and myself. All right, now, uh, regarding about what's going on this morning and what happened yesterday, listen, the big thing yesterday was just trading ETFs. You know, I'm not a big fan of trading ETFs, but there is a time when ETFs do come in handy when the market is volatile as it was yesterday. So you had a couple of good moves in some ETFs. Uh, you could see now they're starting to pop up on the losers licks, the lists. Let me just bring some up over here. You got, you had this one, you know, just to bring one, uh, the, the, uh, the TVIX, which is pretty good. That one moved up pretty nicely. But other than that, they were all, it really wasn't nothing much there. I'm not too crazy about what happened um, other than trading ETF. So listen, you got to keep in mind. I, mean, I was talking to, I was talking to when I was doing my event yesterday and um, you know, sometimes it takes a lot of, you know, trading to kind of understand what you're doing. And I think that was one of the biggest tips of, of, of coming away from my event I did yesterday is that we were talking about what kind of advice could you give everyone? Listen, you got to trade. You can't be trading on demo. Um, you got to be there every day. Listen, not every day you're going to you're going to catch the 800 pound tuna. You know, you just got to keep plugging away and you're going to hit. And that's what it's all about. But um, but you have to trade. And you have to learn. But I thought yesterday was a very good lesson, not as a profitable day, but more of an educational day to see what it's like. Because not every day you're going to be in the market seeing market uh, down six, seven hundred points. All right. Now, regarding about what's happening uh, for today. There were, you know, there wasn't a lot, I'll be honest with you. There were a few stocks that came up on my radar. I mean, this one I saw earlier, looks like she's backing off now, down 2%. I'm probably just going to scratch. You know, you could see the, the, the chart doesn't really look like it's going on. I thought it was pretty good when I saw it around 8 o'clock this morning. But as of right now, uh, kind of garbage, I'll be honest with you. M-A-R-A -A is another one. Got decent volume, 93,000 shares, you know, not the, uh, you know, not terrible. Um, cheap little stock, had some nice volatility yesterday. I don't know. Now, to me, that's more second protocol. Stamps, on the other hand, you know, listen, we, we, stamps didn't really take a big hit yesterday. It actually was only probably the only stock that was positive. But stamps, just could give it, remember, this stock got destroyed, Okay. Now, remember what I always say to everybody. If you want to be a good swing trader, you want to be a good options trader, you damn well better be a good day trader first. You have to know what happens over the course of the day to learn if you're ready to swing trade. So, I, you know, I'm thinking Staples, you know, if it keeps uh, stamps, it keeps up where it's going, it could probably do pretty well here um, on a swing trade. But as a day trade, I mean, other than, other than what happened yesterday, went from 39 to 43 just be very careful very very volatile very dangerous stock you got to be a pretty advanced to trade this one 
Another one that gapped up pretty nicely yesterday was the SAEX. Now, some of you guys remember this. We traded this last year in October. This stock ran from five to thirty dollars in one day. It was one of our four or five hundred percent movers. Uh, was it? Yeah, the more or more than that. It's like a yeah, almost six hundred percent mover in a day. So we know the stock can move. So fourteen percent, almost four hundred thousand shares. Great orders out there in the matrix. So you know because we know. If you were here a year ago, what I always tell everybody to do, go back to your journals, check it out, see how you traded it. Um, it was a great short squeeze, but, um, but you know what? It could happen again, and believe me, it does. So that one's going to be pretty good. IMMR, that was another one uh, that uh, took a little bit of a hit. You could see it you know, was up in the $11 price range, dropped down to 9 She got up yesterday. Now she's like right in the middle. She's got decent volume. She's up 7%. Looks like she's testing some support levels. Not the greatest, but it's better than nothing. Uh, the one that I traded this morning was Uber. Now, Uber um, had a huge pop right around here. Ran from 3780, ran to 3840. She's starting to come back. Uh, she's got some resistance levels right around here, around 3820. So I kind of averaged up. I'm in the position right now. I was doing pretty well. It's got resistance right around 3890 ish. Um it's a little bit a little bit of advance. It stock does move, but um took a stock's been taking a very took a very nasty hit. You could see from from the beginning of the IPO went from 45 all the way down to about 36. So she gapped up a little bit. She's making a little bit of a comeback. Maybe, you know, we'll see how she opens up and see if she opens up strong. But just keep in mind, I mentioned it early in the trading room. Remember, Lyft is down over 50% from its highs. It was a $90 stock. I, I thought it was going to probably test about 44, 42 Lyft, but she, you know, she she got into the 40s. But uh, I don't know. I, between the outstanding shares and you know uh, market cap, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I think Uber is probably a better company than Lyft. Uh, more of a brand name, so I would think that'd be worth more. So that probably that's why I'm more favoring the Uber stock price than more of the Lyft price. Uh, what else I had? There was just two more small ones. LBD, um, uh, SLDB is moving this morning. Took a little bit of a nice little hit right there, down 40%. Uh, just be, you know, making a little bit of a bounce, but the stock took a major hit, $50 stock. Back in uh, October, this thing just in January, thing dropped from 25 down to eight, went back down to five. Looks like it's testing some support levels. So, you know, that stock could probably get a little bit of a dead cap bounce. And then you have this uh, STNE that gapped up after hours, ran from 26 to 30, kind of flatlined in here, what happened in, in after hours. So that one could be pretty interesting too. Uh, looks like it's right smack if this resistance level is right here. All right. So listen. Not the greatest list, and I think a lot has to do about what happened yesterday. Uh, that's hap that's spinning off what's happening today. But you got some, you got some decent stocks, and always remember, you know, I know we have these new members that come in here, and you guys been here for a while. Just because what we found in pre market doesn't always uh, roll into when the market opens up. There's always new stocks that opened up, and we always find them. But that's what we trade so far going in pre market. All right, guys, anything I missed? I did not call out. Yes, uh, Grant says we had a nice little spike in this ADOM. You know, the only thing is I don't like to talk about stocks under a dollar when I do these events because, you know, I don't want people to have that illusion that we trade stocks under a dollar, not because they're penny stocks or anything. It's just that when you deal tenths of a penny and this and that kind of makes things a little bit uh, difficult. But, yes, it is a good call. It did have a nice little pop. All right. Hey, everybody. Listen, good luck today. Don't forget, a lot of events going on today. We got Traders Talk. All right, today, and then we at one, and then we have the Cyber Expo that's coming up. Um, and then we have a, you know, we have, a, we have a bunch of events that are happening this week. Remember, you got to learn before you can earn. Great presenters always come here at Cyber University. And, you know, when you're not doing, which we, in the middle of the day, which is always the slowest time of the day, make sure you come enjoy the events. All right, guys, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon, see what goes on going into this close, too. But have, enjoy the open.